Dirty Prince Harry wife Meghan Markle turns her secret London palace into romance toy mini warehouse for a lover bodyguard. Duchess of Sussex Meghan Markle has reportedly turned her London palace into mini warehouse of sex toys comprising various types of vibrators as well as Platorial stimulators made by different companies. The sex toys at Meghan Markle Palace include glass dildo with whip, women's putting ring, oil manufactured by Lalo, Little Platinum, Atinity, Yava, Enes, Victoria, Phantasm. The Royal Pearl cost $1 million. According to wide witnesses, the total cost of these sex toys would cross a few million dollars. Besides, she also has a variety of collection of erection pills, lotion and gel, which Meghan Markle possibly gives to her lovers. It also learned that Meghan Markle on some occasions forces a man taking drugs in order to turn them sexually stronger and crazier. Meghan Markle is a big great fan of men who can perform like beasts in the bed. According to psychologists and sexologists, when someone starts having sex with multiple men, her sexual desire keeps on increasing. Unless Meghan Markle is a sex worker in Meghan Markle case, she evidently has three passions, wealth, luxury and sexual urge. Meghan Markle doesn't hesitate in sending any amount or compromising her social status and dignity for the sake of comforting her sexual urge through multiple orgasms. They said Meghan Markle has started getting sexual pleasure from a very young age by having relations with multiple boys and men. During her student life in America, Meghan Markle was maintaining relations with multiple men while Meghan Markle had many friends for benefit. The psychologist and sexologist said that one of the main reasons for Prince Harry's extreme attraction towards Meghan Markle is because of a crazy sexual way. Prince Harry had found the best sexual mate in Meghan Markle who had no problem in giving him all forms of sexual pleasure. Therefore, Duchess of Sussex of leaving patronizing messages on bananas as she made lunch baskets for sex workers during her and Prince Harry's visit to Charity 125 last week. The organization gives supports and resources to former and current sex workers in the city. Morgan pretended to mimic the Duchess, saying, Hand me by Sharpie. My moment has come to empower sex workers in a high voice while grabbing a sharpie and a banana. The TV host also said that the royal advisors should have stopped the former actress before she wrote the messages. Giving a sex worker a banana is clearly exposing her to potential mockery. I'm sorry, he said to the round table with some members agreeing with him. If you have been advising Meghan Markle before this and she said, I've got a great idea, I'm going to give a lot of sex workers who are really struggling at the moment, signed bananas, would you have said Maybe not the bananas, Morgan added. Meghan came up with the idea when she and Harry were touring 125 and she was packing snacks for the women working the streets. Meghan Markle to give a very special gift to Harry on his birthday. Will she announce second pregnancy? The Duke of Sussex's birthday will be coming up very soon. Prince Harry will be turning 36 years old on September the 15th. Has made numerous important milestones in his life. The prince was dubbed as a playboy before as a young man had had his shares of scandals. He has now given up on that life and has been married to ex-actress Meghan Markle for two years now. The love between the Duke and Duchess of Sussex could only be explained as whirlwind type of love. This dating period was not as long as the royal family would have likened compared to Harry's big brother, William and Kate dating history which was years before they got married Harry and Meghan Markle on the other hand dated less than a year before announcing the engagement now that Prince's birthday is coming up people are asking what special gift Meghan will surprise Harry with according to Royal Insiders Meghan Markle had one of the most amazing and intimate gifts for Harry back when the Prince celebrated his 35th birthday sources explained that Meghan recreated their trip to Botswana in their own backyard the Duchess was said to have set up a campsite in the backyard, cooked food and spent hours with Harry looking up the stars. Botswana is a very special place for both Harry and Meghan and is said to be the place where both of them fell in love with each other. Last year for Harry's birthday, Meghan recreated the Botswana camping adventures in their own backyard. It's a place which means so much to them and to Harry in particular. So Meghan wanted to bring that happy place to him on his day and recreated Botswana. This source explained in one of his interviews as well, Harry explained and expressed his fondness for his trip to Botswana with Meghan. He said during that interview that was three or four weeks after they started dating that he was able to persuade Meghan to join him on the trip. He was said to have fallen for Meghan's charm and wit and how down to earth the Duchess was. Many are wondering what gift Meghan will be giving her husband on his 36th birthday. It's also good to know that Harry and Meghan will also have something special to celebrate due to their freedom from the royal family.
Meghan Markle's heartwarming gift for Prince Harry revealed ahead of his birthday, Meghan Markle is leaving no stones unturned in showering love on a better half. Prince Harry, for his birthday last year, Meghan recreated their first ever Botswana camping trip in the backyard for Harry's birthday. It was a special gift by Meghan and royal fans are eagerly waiting to know what has she in store for the Duke this year? Last year for Harry's birthday, Meghan recreated their Botswana camping adventures in the backyard, a source revealed. It's a place that means so much to them and to Harry in particular. So Meghan wanted to bring that happy place to him on his day. So she set up a tent, got sleeping bags, cooked dinner and recreated Botswana where they fell in love. Detailing about the camping dream Harry had earlier revealed then, it was I think about there maybe four weeks later that I managed to persuade her to come and join me in Botswana as we camped out with each other under the stars. She came and joined me for five days out there, which was absolutely fantastic. As mentioned in Phonic Freedom, the authors explain Harry was delightfully surprised by Megan's down-to-earth attitude. While camping, she cleared her face with baby wipes and happily wandered into the woodlands if she needed a bathroom break. Whether it is unclear that Megan will gift Harry this year, the Duke of Sussex made it to reveal what he thought about his special day. During a conference video call with the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, Harry lauded the youth. It's for you guys to make the world a better place. I say you. I want to include us, but I already feel as if I'm too old. Report claims Meghan Markle has threatened royal family with Princess Diana documentary. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle made waves when they announced a new production deal with Netflix. One tabloid reports that this deal is secretly a jab at the royal family as Meghan Markle plans to make a movie about Princess Diana against the wishes of Prince William. Gossip Carb investigates the rumor obsessed Duchess threatens Princess Diana's legacy. The cover story of Women's Day claims Meghan has made a 75 million US dollars threat to the royal family. The recent Netflix deal has stirred rumors at the palace of a Meghan May documentary about the life and times of Princess Diana. Prince William is furious and is already drawing up plans to stop her. The royal family is considering offering Meghan a payout more lucrative than the Netflix deal because everyone knows how obsessed with Diana's story Meghan is. Alternatively, the royals will go down the legal route. The payout would be at least 75 million US dollars more than the Netflix paycheck, but it was unknown how to get the Queen to part with that much cash. The rest of the article is devoted to Prince Harry, who didn't inform the Queen about the new deal. The tabloid suspects that he's keeping quiet because of the documentary will target the royal family. What would be nothing more than a vanity project for Markle is deeply personal to Prince William. If all fails, the Tabloids suggest Prince William could say he's the heir to all of Princess Diana's belongings and block the documentary that way. Just more Markle bashing story is not true. The story is not based in fact and is just one in a long line of hateful Women's Day stories directed at Markle. The Princess Diana statue announced was revealed in a joint statement from Prince William and Prince Harry so that Sussexes and the Cambridges are publicly in agreement on how to honor Princess Diana's legacy. An unoriginal story, Gossip Car busted the National Enquirer just week uh, for its very similar story about Prince Harry making a movie about his mother. The story didn't attack Markle as this one did, but it was Similarly untrue, the Sussexes have only just started working with Netflix and is of not yet any projects Princess Diana related or otherwise have been announced. Since Prince Harry and Prince William have already worked on documentary together, Diana of a mother, her life and legacy, it seems unlikely that a new one would be made. We also checked with our own sources close to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex who confirmed the story is false. This tabloid despises the Duchess of Sussex Women's Day, consistently makes Markle out to be a radioactive individual who makes every single person in contact with her worse. It's as though the tabloid has run out of living relatives for Markle to feud with. So now she's feeding over Princess Diana. She upset Princess Beatrice on her wedding day. Despite not being there, Prince Charles banished her from the royal family. Not even her immediate family is safe. Prince Harry is getting a divorce. She banned her own mother from seeing baby Archie and banned Kate Middleton from seeing her as of yet unborn second child. Not of these stories true and when they are listed in a row like this one, 
how pathetic Women's Day is for bullying the Duchess of Sussex. It's no wonder she would want to leave the public eye with malicious stories like these.